Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another banger of a video that I got for you today. As you guys may have seen, yes, we did do a playthrough of Oakwood. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the episodes and I really hope you loved them as much as I loved editing them and bringing them to you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my final thoughts and my final opinions on Oakwood and how I feel about the game and certain aspects of it and so on and so forth. I do have some notes off to the side that I will be referencing so we don't get too off track to keep this as smooth and cohesive as possible. So without further ado, let's dive in. So when it comes to Oakwood, I would give this game a solid 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it to anybody that loves a good survival horror story based game that keeps you on your toes and keeps you guessing of what's going to happen next. Graphically, this game looks incredible. You guys saw the videos, you guys saw the episodes of the playthrough. Like, you, this game is absolutely gorgeous when it comes to the graphics, when it comes to the settings that you're in and the sounds that you hear. Absolutely incredible. There are a lot of great looking games out there and I feel like the developers really captured what they were going for with the graphics of the game. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Um, there is one little gripe that I have, and spoiler alert, if you haven't watched any of the episodes and you're just watching this for my opinion on the game, just a fair heads up that you're going to hear some spoilers within this video, so just, just be ready for that. One thing I have a gripe with is when your flashlight does run out later on in the game, it does become incredibly difficult to see. So definitely do what I didn't do and raise the brightness once that happens. Once you raise the brightness after your flashlight runs out, you'll be able to see a whole lot better. This is something that I definitely wish that I went back and did. Uh, when I ran into this in the in the game, there were there were a lot of moments where I was like looking real close to see like where I was or what something was in front of me. So definitely, when the flashlight runs out, just raise up the brightness and do yourself a favor and help your help yourself see in the dark areas. Other than that, that is the only gripe I have with that part of the game. Graphically, yes, this game is amazing. I would definitely, aside from the parts where you couldn't see very well, I would give the graphics at least like eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, I feel like is fair. One of the things that I truly do love about this game is the exploration aspect of it and the investigating part of it. You know, any area that you end up in within the game you're going to end up exploring it and you're going to end up investigating it to see if you can find anything that you may need. As you guys saw in the playthrough, you know, there were a lot of notes that we got to read. We ended up finding totems and I have no idea if those totems actually play a part in the story of the game or if they're just something that you collect within the game just to get an achievement. But regardless, I love the exploration and investigating aspect of it really keeps you guessing of like oh what could be over here uh what can i find here is there something that i need in this area right here right now you know it, it keeps you thinking and it keeps your mind going and i i love any type of game that has that aspect about it so i i, I love that aspect of oakwood for sure Let's talk about the buildups and the anticipation of waiting for something to happen. You guys saw this, you know, during the playthroughs, any time that the game said progress saved, once it said that, you're basically just waiting for something to jump out at you or you're waiting to hear a noise that's going to freak you out. The buildup 
and the anticipation of waiting for something to happen is absolutely agonizing in the best way possible, mind you. It keeps you on your toes, it keeps you guessing, and the fact that you're just waiting and waiting and waiting until a fucking raptor jumps out at you or you hear a scream from this far away, like, it, it's it's incredible. I, I love the buildups. Love the anticipation of waiting for something to happen. Absolutely incredible. By definitely the main thing that's my favorite about this game for sure. Now, if you want to get to know me, one thing to know about me is that I absolutely love and adore the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. And there were definitely some nods to Jurassic Park in this game. And that honestly made me geek out without a question, without a question. It just made me geek out like crazy. You know, the one moment where you're in the RV and you have the T-Rex just staring at you before it knocks the RV over until you have to go run into a different location. Uh, there was that scene in there with um, with the raptors where you guys are in the, uh, the kitchen, I believe it was. Um, so that was a nod to the first movie, first Jurassic Park movie for sure. And then my honest to God favorite moment was where we got to use the night vision goggles, which obviously was a nod to the first movie as well. Absolutely incredible. Like the nods to Jurassic Park was just chef's kiss. Like that just like made it so much better and they did it in a way where it wasn't super corny, it wasn't super cheesy. They found a way to make it their own and found a way to make it make sense in the game as well. And I absolutely adored that and that made me love the game that much more. The thoughts on I have on the story, it's absolutely crazy. You know, the you you come to this campsite in hopes to meet up with your friends or or your family wh whichever it was i'm pretty sure it was just a group of friends that got invited out to oakwood you know the moment that you find out that oakwood is abandoned that's kind of the red flag that you should listen to to be like yeah no i ain't going here but obviously these people are suckers and they went anyway to this abandoned area that's infested with dinosaurs. And obviously, there's some shady shit going on there because of some of the notes that we read. Ultimately, in the end, we met our fate. Spoiler alert, in case you guys aren't playing the game or didn't watch the episodes that I put out. The fact that we met our, fa met our fate at the end was honestly the best twist that could have happened. Every game that is a survival horror or whatever, um, there's always at least some sort of happy ending or there's some sort of weird ending that happens. The fact that we met our fate and we died at the end, that was honestly the best way to end the game. And if I had to give my opinion, there should be a second Oakwood that gets made. Only this time, there's a whole team heading out that knows what's happening at Oakwood and they are there to exterminate the dinosaurs that are there. That's how I feel the second Oakwood should go, but I mean, that's just how I feel. You guys let me know in the comments how you feel because that's that would be an incredible way to continue uh, the story. Now, while we may have completed the story, we haven't completed the game completely because there are still two achievements that I have not gotten in the game. One of them was we did not collect all the totems. The other one, and this blows my mind to find this out, there's a secret area to be discovered. So you bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna be jumping back into Oakwood. We're gonna find all the totems and we're going to find this secret area wherever in the gosh darn game that it is. After we completed the game, I got in touch with the developers. They have not responded to me. Uh, however, I got in touch with the developers to let them know like, yo, you gotta make this game a movie. 
you need to make this game a movie and it doesn't have to be just like the jurassic park slash jurassic world movies there they can figure out a way just like they did with the game to make it their own you know what i mean like the nods that they gave to jurassic park was noticeable but also they found a way to make it unique to where it wasn't corny and it made sense for the game so they can do the exact same thing with the movie and have it make sense for their movie if, if that makes any sense you know i feel like oakwood would be an incredible game to either transform into a movie or transform it into a tv show of some sort and you can show the perspectives of all the different characters within the game you know you can watch zoe's adventure to get to where she got to until she got devoured by the t-rex spoiler alert again sorry and you can show the perspective of our character going through the motions going through these different areas trying to find zoe and dylan and whoever else that we were looking for but yeah i feel like oakwood would be an incredible movie and or tv show i really hope that the developers get back to me about it I'm, I may try messaging them again, or I may just try finding out like the individual names of the people of the development company and message them directly and get in touch with them and be like, yo, this needs to be a movie. And I feel like you, you guys could pull it off. All in all though, I am so glad that I played Oakwood. It is an incredible game and I highly recommend it to anyone that feels like playing something different if you're tired of playing Fortnite if you're tired of playing Phasmophobia if you're tired of playing whatever game it is that you play day in day out this is a great game to switch up your rotation and it's a great game in general just to check out and try out and have fun with anyways you guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for watching all of the episodes of the Oakwood playthrough. You can watch them by clicking on the playlist on the left side of the screen right now. So feel free to click that playlist and watch the episodes in their entirety. This game is a movie. It deserves to be its own movie or TV show, whatever, whatever is more clever. But I really enjoyed playing this game and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this game. Let me know what other games you guys want to see me do in the future that are similar to Oakwood or just something completely outlandishly di different. I would love to just dip my hand in other games and try some other, other stuff, you know? Whether they be story based or not, I would just love to try out some other different games. But that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I love you. You take care of yourselves. You take care of one another. And I'll catch you in the next one. Much love. Peace.